Hey guys, and welcome back to Yolama Gaming. Uh, today, well, yeah, you'll see why it's named Dang Beavers. They're kind of annoying, especially when you're trying to steal stuff from them. But I won't give away too much of what I'm planning on doing yet. And, uh, I haven't posted in a while, but that's because, yeah, summer's been busy. But I will try to post somewhat more regularly, not just like five at a time and then like none because yeah that's not exactly the best way to be posting episodes got a long neck now so that's good just gotta craft some ammo for it Full flax set, but it's not much use where I'm at right now because it'll just be too hot if I try wearing that. Crops look like they're doing pretty good. Nice, nice. And, uh, yeah. So I guess today I'm going to try to get some cementing paste that I need for the various saddles that I'm trying to craft. Um, I think there should be a beaver dam uh, down by the lake here, but taming at level 61 would be a good use of time as well in this episode. Because if you guys didn't know, they're like insane at collecting wood. Okay, that's not the one I want. That's a level 33. And I don't know what I'm looking up here. Yeah, there's not much of anything up there. But maybe they're over that way. Let's see. Yep, that might be them. All right, there we go. Yeah, just knocking it out. Wow, I stink. Okay, driving this first person is a little bit harder. Than I thought it was. Yeah, I can do it. I can do this. He's on the run. He's on the run. We almost got this. Just one or two more. That might be it. I better be careful not to shoot it again. Well, I shot it again. Okay, good. It's out. Alright. These guys kind of take a long time to tame. And they can wake up quite quickly if they're not prepared, so. I'll just skip ahead. Alright, I'm back. A few hundred narco berries later. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think it required that many. I lost count though. It did require a lot, but we have ourselves a castroids now. I think I said level 60 earlier in the video, but it was actually like a level 40 something. But it is level almost 70 now, so that's pretty good. Now let's get to raiding that beaver dam, so we can get cementing paste. I don't care so much about the wood, but if you are uh, needing some of that, that's a, another good place to get it, other than just chopping trees. I mean, who has to chop trees when you can just steal wood from people? That's a lot easier, but I don't have much room for wood on this guy, because he doesn't carry that much weight. Okay, 
it should be up here somewhere. There it is, and it looks like there's no beavers guarding it, so that's great. Alright. What is even this? Come on. I'll take the red flowers and red mushrooms, but no cementing paste. Sometimes that's something you're gonna find in beaver dams, I guess. Most people loot them for the cementing paste and silk pearls, but if you don't get that, you're just gonna have to look for another one. But not to worry, there should be plenty on whichever map you're playing on. The island is kind of limited on them, and the Scorched Earth, of course, does not have any because it doesn't have any beavers, but I'm sure you can find a lot on Ragnarok, uh, and uh, Valgaro has a beaver river, so if you need cementing paste, then I'd suggest that you find that. I think it's near the green obelisk on that map. But on this map, I don't know exactly where all the cementing paste is, but I think that there should be some in the underground forest, so I may pay my mini base a visit, actually. Let's see if I can find a beavers near there. Alright, if I'm gonna fly, I need to put away my heavy stuff, though. Because otherwise the pterodon can't take me. Would be nice to get a new flyer but I don't exactly have any planned on, on planned on taming right now. Snow Owl would be really nice, but those only spawn on the ice bottom, and I haven't ventured there yet. Well, I guess I'm gonna get ready to head out. Alright, so this way to the second forest. Ooh, Tappy Jara. Well, I could tame one of those. It could probably fly a little bit farther than a pterodon. Yeah, I bet you it could fly a lot farther than a pterodon. Tappy Jaras are probably the second flyer you'll ever get an Ark. I mean, for me on the island, I got an Argentavis second. But that's because it was trying to eat a dead compi flying around in circles, so it was really easy to get it. Um. Yeah, but Taffy Jar you can actually bowl on like the Argentavis, so I know for some people they'd say it's easier. You just gotta be careful because unlike the Pterodon, the Taffy Jar will actually fly away if you even step near it. So you have to be sneaky, kind of. Okay, that one's not very good. What is this one though? Come on, where are you? Ooh, I want that one. I don't have any prime meat. Alright. I'll have to go get some. But I'll bring you guys back when I do have some. I cook it, of course, so it lasts longer and I don't spoil it all. Alright. And now I'm back, guys. Uh, this is around the area where I saw that level 40 Tapajara. Hopefully, this is him right here. Yeah, I will say, when you're taming your first happy jar, it's probably not going to be as easy as I make it look. Because you have to be really sneaky. Ooh, I like that headshot multiplier. You want to try to get headshots on dinos when you're taming them so you can knock them out faster. There's a little bit more damage though, so if the creature doesn't have a lot of health, then that needs to be something you consider. Like, I almost killed this guy. Two more shots like that, and he would have been dead. Alright, I have all the cooked prime I need, I think, to tame this guy. And he looks like he'll stay asleep for a while, so I might adventure around here a little bit. Because this is pretty close to my base, I just never really been around here. I'll put the tame tracker on him so I don't lose him. Go fly around. Could use some thatch to repair my bola. Ooh. Wonder if that's the area. Yeah, that might be the area that I was 
that I was at when I first started this series. Ran past some sarcos and stuff. This might be it because it looks a little bit swampy. And be around the right spot for me to fall off onto my base. This location. I'm not sure. Might be. He'll stay asleep for a while, I think. Yeah, that might actually be a swampy area. Ooh, look at the little bees of buffalo. I zoomed in uh, and pointed it to it. But it's still a little bit hard to see. It's just a little black dot. These are buffaloes are one of my favorite teams in the game, and I may be pronouncing that wrong. Please correct me if I, if I'm not. I just really have no clue how to pronounce that. I mean, I like to call it just a bouncing frog thingy from the swamp sometimes. So, whatever floats your boat, or frog, I guess. Ooh, level 63 pairs of there. Now these guys are the first guys that you're gonna be able to build a moving base on. I mean, unless you count the raft, but that's not really a dino. These guys, hey, they're basically like the poor man's Bronto. I mean, they're faster than a Bronto though, so I don't know how poor man's were talking. Some things you get to trade for and has less damage, less weight smaller platform but if you want more speed you want an easier tame I mean I'd say they're easier they require less trank arrows to knock out than a Bronto but they're faster so you can't tame them on foot like I've done with Brontos before if you've actually seen my tame taming a Bronto video I actually did that all on foot with just bows but it was a low level so I know that it can be more difficult if you're taming like a max level one. Let me know actually in the comments if you guys think I should do a series where I play Ark but it's max level. Never actually played Ark that way. Just because I thought it'd be way too difficult, but you know, if I was at the beginning, I might be able to handle it now, maybe. Probably not. It'd be interesting to see me die at least. Oh, I wasted that. Alright, I hit it. That's good. Hit it again. The bigger the creatures so are, the easier it is to tame multiple people. And almost something like a Giga, if you're not using, like, gun tranquilizer guards, you probably need to have someone else with you. That isn't really possible if you're like playing a single player world on a computer, but if you can't play with friends on ARC, it's definitely an experience I'd recommend. Maybe not on a PvP server if you're just starting out though, because those can be kind of toxic. <laughs> yeah, because I play them. Yeah, that's right. No, no, no. There's plenty of other toxic players out there ever than me. And I am probably the least toxic of the toxic players. Yeah, some people spend ridiculous amounts of time on PvP servers. I mean, hey, if they enjoy it, they enjoy it. But I just don't understand the, the thrill of building a giant tech base and then having it wiped out by someone like six hours later. That doesn't make sense to me. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go that way. I mean, I'm still hitting you. That's good, at least. At least. That's not good. I'm running low on arrows. Can't keep up this, this much longer. 
Why did I do that? Like, getting in that bush was like the worst possible idea. At least I didn't die. I mean, Alright, here he comes. He's ready for more. Oh yeah, and for the tapey jar, I forgot to mention, if you're taming really anything that runs away from you when you walk near it, or when you hit it, and in that case, you can actually wear ghillie, and that'll like keep you more invisible from it, I guess. That doesn't really sound like proper English, but... Uh, yeah. You can also use rare flowers to lure it into a trap, if you're the kind of person that uses a trap. I mean, I'm not much of a trap guy. Why did I try clubbing it? That was not smart. Yeah, some big dinos do stomping damage, which really makes it annoying if you want to try to melee knock them out. Pretty much anything bigger than Parasaurs do stomp damage, like Rexes will do it. Uh, you guys probably have stomp damage, although I haven't gotten close enough to actually try, but I'm going to assume they have stomp damage. Uh, Brontos have stomp damage. A lot of things have stomp damage that are really big. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, if you haven't heard about it, the wildcard has announced that they're releasing the Lost Island, which is supposed to be a huge map bigger than Ragnarok this year for free. But uh, I'm pretty sure they they claim it's the last one, but some people are saying that it's not, and I'm hoping they're right because Lost Island is cool and all, but. I want more than just one more arc map. Okay. Uh. Yeah. All right. I'll bring you back when this team is done, and it is now. So that's great and wonderful. Yeah. Now it's time to head to the underground sunken forest place thing. So it looks like he has better stamina right now than my pterodon. Although it's not that much noticeable of a difference. I should try to get some levels pumped into this guy so he actually goes farther. But yeah, Lost Island, from my understanding, is supposed to like... In a lot of ways, it's supposed to be similar to Ragnarok. I don't know. Because... It's gonna have like all sorts of biomes, but I think it's supposed to also be like more kind of like the island where it's mainly like real dinosaurs. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure there'll be some like creatures that are made up and stuff, but I don't think it's gonna have like wyverns and like rock elementals and stuff. But there might be, I could be wrong. That's just my take on the map. Uh, yeah, the people people are saying that the next map that'll come after that is like some Viking themed map, maybe possibly, and they could be right because the creator of that map is uh, the person that made Valgaro. So there is a possibility that a Viking themed map could be coming to Ark Survival Evolved. But we'll just have to see. Uh, Lost Island looks pretty cool. It has like like a big castle room, like pretty big. Like someone could build a base in big. In the videos I've seen, a lot of caves, a lot of cool stuff. If you haven't seen anything on it, I definitely recommend checking it out. You can just look up Lost Island Arc on YouTube, and you'll probably find like a gazillion YouTubers that have videos on it other than me because I don't have access to mods and stuff like that. So, sorry, I know it stinks, but if you want to find more about the Lost Island? Ooh, is that one of those? Ooh, it's one of those robo supply drops. I should try to activate one of those eventually. I don't think I'm strong enough yet, though. Yeah, I don't think I should try to do an orbital supply drop with just a Rex. Actually, I don't even have a Rex. What am I talking about? A Megatherium. I could get a Rex probably soon. I don't know if I. I'm willing to 
risk that though, because most of the wrecks is spawn outside of the safe little city area. Yeah. And if you didn't know, outside of the city area, you've seen, uh, I think it was the Mega Whatchamacallit last video or something. Uh, maybe those two videos ago. But anyway, this area outside of like any of the domes, like the underground forest, desert, snow, central city area, like like asteroids, like an asteroid event can happen, and the asteroids will just like fly down and instantly kill you and everything. No, if you want to see me get wrecked by an asteroid, I was not in the video, but I realized that's what the strange noise was that was like making an exploding noise was. So. Yeah, this guy's stamina could use some leveling, but it's pretty good. Got me through almost the entire wasteland. Just had to make one stop, and luckily it was in a safe spot. Because I know most of this wasteland is not. There's that city terminal we can use to craft some stuff. I don't know why I can't craft a cryopod at it. It's kind of annoying. Probably gonna have to stop and load in the underground area, maybe. Oh, uh, maybe it won't. Maybe I'll be lucky. Yeah, I guess it didn't stop and load. Well, I have to land anyway, so. Yeah, that kind of stinks. You know, I actually haven't been to the aberration area on Valgaro. And. I don't actually know if it exists on console, so someone please tell me if it does, because that's cool. I haven't actually, like, I know the entrances to it, but, like, I haven't actually been to it to see if it exists on console. But I'd imagine it probably has a similar thing where it, like, has to load in the underground area. Because it's cool. It's, like, basically a whole, like, I don't know, like a whole mini arc underneath the land. I guess that's kind of the whole point of extinction, but it's just kind of cool to have like a huge cave area. Actually, building a cave base on Ragnarok, because Ragnarok and Valgaro, they have like. Actually, I'm pretty sure all of the free maps other than the island have like huge caves that you can build in. I just don't know where all the locations of them are. But. Yeah, I'm building a basin cave that's actually really close to the default spawn of Ragnarok. It's a huge cave and a huge base. Maybe I'll give you guys a tour of it sometime. But I'm like literally just moved all my teams there, which if you guys have seen my base on this series, you can tell that I'm, I'm a bit of a tamer. I'm not one of those people to play Ark and just, like, just get along with, like, the things that you absolutely need, like, uh, Anki, just like, oh yeah, I tamed an Anki because I need metal, but I don't care about anything else. No, I'm not that Ark player. Yeah. I'm sure most people at least, like, tame Rexes and stuff for boss fights, but I don't know. I don't know. There's probably some guy who beat the, like, the bottom of the eggs just with, like, climbing picks and a shotgun or something just climbed up the side of the arena. Though, I'm not really sure how you did that, sir, without uploading those climbing picks from Aberration, but... <laughs> well, he just brought, like, a foundation and ladders or something. Alright, here's my mini base. It's a pretty nice mini base. I mean, I've seen better, but it is a mini base. Right, this guy has a little bit of food. That's good. Right, the most shops has a ton of narco berries. And cool dude has some meat. That's good. I'm gonna need to take those from you, sir, actually, so they don't go to waste. Alright, and now I found a beaver dam. 
I cut it out when I was searching for them because I thought it might take a while, but actually it was like not very far. Ooh. Ooh, imagine if I tamed that level 77. That would have been a lot harder, but it probably would have been a lot better. Alright, I'm going to see if I can lure them away from this beaver dam because it's going to be kind of risky to open it. But, well, maybe I'll just peek. Alright, 75 cementing paste. See, that's already better than the last one. 20 silk pearls. But I'm hoping there'll be more beaver dams here, because I don't want to just leave a 75. Go big or go home, as they say. Which I'm hoping to go big and not have to return to my base. Alright, maybe these beavers will follow me around the corner, because I think I saw another beaver dam in that water. But I can't exactly access it, because they're a faster swimmer than me, so I need them far away from it. Yeah, come by this strike. No? Oh yeah, Herbal Force can't attack Herbal Force probably. Ouch. 17 damage, 24 damage. Alright. Pretty strong for an oversized rodent. Which is exactly what beavers are. I'm not trying to insult beavers or anything, but like. Hey, that's scientifically what they are, just a big rodent that likes to chew on wood. Alright, see you guys later. I'm gonna go steal your stuff. Sorry, not sorry. I kinda need it more than you do. I mean, what are you doing with that cementing paste? Beavers, like, you're just like, oh, well, I'll just build, like, this wood little shack in the middle of the river. What's the point of that even? Like, you're trying to like drown while you sleep underwater? That's like not a good idea. Like at least that other beaver dam was actually like above water. Alright, those dang beavers I ain't never see that coming. Well, I got tons of cementing paste and I'm ready to head back to my base. That was a good run. I'll have to get some more next time. But, for now, 300 will be plenty. I'm sure. Well, first I'm going to make a quick stop at my mini base. Just to check on them. Because it probably has been at least a few minutes. And maybe something they were trying to eat spoiled. I don't know. Maybe to see if I can get a gadget crystal. It's going to pop one off for me. Be nice of them. All right, I got narco berries taken from most shops. That's good. Nope, you're not gonna give me a gacha crystal. All right, well, I'll see you guys back at base anyway. All right, so we're back at base now. Yeah, crafted a little metal helmet for my monkey dude and painted it. Uh, yeah, and I crafted the Megatherium saddle using the cementing paste I stole. So, uh, let's just kind of see what this guy can do, I guess. Alright, so, you can collect fiber, you can collect berries, that's pretty good. Not the world's best wood collector. say he's not the worst though. Also not horribly slow. That's pretty good stamina. I'd say better stamina than it Rex. Plus like we saw in the last video. Uh maybe the one before. I keep getting mixed up which one the Megatherium one was, but they do 80 something damage. That's pretty insane, actually. Because I have Rexes that probably don't even do that much on my own save. I mean, my 120 Tech Rex on Scorched Earth. Almost 300 damage, that thing is insane. 
Alright, it was only doing 17 damage because the Chinas, like... I don't know, they're like... They can like roll up into the shell and take less damage. Ooh, this is a true test of this guy's power. Should I do it? I don't know if I should do it, guys. That's a level 50 enforcer. Whatever, I'll do it. Ooh, yikes. He's doing a lot of damage. But I'm doing a lot of damage. I did it. I did it. He never stood a chance. Well, maybe he did. But we're, we don't talk about that. And by killing them, I was watching a YouTube video because I had no clue how these enforcer guys worked. You can get blueprints from them, so like the higher level ones you kill, the better blueprints you'll get. That's a pretty good one, actually. But I might just craft a primitive one for now, just because it's a lot easier. And because, yeah, I just want to see these enforcer guys are worth saving the resources up for because there's a lot of hype about them on this map, but I don't know if they're any good. Ooh. Ooh. And then I'm gonna get a new trophy dodo. 77. That's crazy. Alright. Okay, good. That that dodo is gonna sound like that. I didn't actually want to kill that one. I had no clue. 91 damage. I must have upgraded it some since the last encounter with anything. Alright, but thanks for watching guys and see you next time.